value. We can graph that. This is another family of graphs that you're supposed to know. value of x has a vertex of 0. It's your v. I like to uh, write it like this. Describe my graphs quite well. <coughs> this time I can actually count the slope. I'm going to translate this and transform it. Find your new vertex and count your slope. It's absolute value, right? Absolute value graphs are V's. They either look like this or like this. So would be four and negative one? Negative four, negative one. This, that would be like zero down. down. Oh, yeah, it goes down. But narrower? Narrower because this is smaller than negative one, greater than one, however you want to think of it. We need to zero this out to find our vertex because zero is where the vertex occurs. We need to go to negative 4. And when x is negative 4, y is negative 1. Vertex. From your vertex, you count your slope. Count your slope if you haven't done it yet. Both directions. This is a fraction, but notice that it's an improper fraction. Improper fractions end up being steeper because they're bigger than 1 or greater than, less than negative 1. So, From here, what do we do? You go down, down 5, five and then three. to the right, 3. 5, and we go to the right and left, 3. There's the points. There's our graph. We also did cubics. Y equals x cubed. Remember that cubics have rotational symmetry. We say that they're symmetric about the origin. They have a weird property. Uh, they go up on one side. 1 cubed is 1. 2 cubed is 8. Negative 1 cubed is negative 1. And negative 2 cubed is negative 8. And they have this weird property. It says, if I take f of negative x, it's the same as taking negative f of positive x. It's as if I can take the negative out of the function. When this occurs, it's called an odd function. And it has rotational symmetry. You end up with a pretty steep curve here. It's extremely steep. And we can transform this thing by moving the point of inflection to a new location. Remember, this thing is no longer called a vertex. It's called the point of inflection. It's where the curvature changes. We're going to move 
this uh, x cubed to a new location. Let's go to y equals. Let's go with um, one fifth this time. X minus two cubed plus four. <coughs> Inflection is where? Positive two four. Two four. Just because the curve goes through it doesn't affect our graph any. Now, if this was a one, then it would have this shape, wouldn't it? It's not a one, it's a one fifth. Do not attempt to count a slope on these. It will not work. You can't go up one and over five. It won't work. What you can do is you can graph this. Curve. It's very steep. And here's what I like to do. I just simply look at this and look at that, and I cut it into five equal pieces in my head. I just take one-fifth of this, which is right about here. Can everybody see that this is about one-fifth of the way up right here? And this is about one-fifth of the way down here. It's not perfect. It doesn't have to be. This point goes through about here. This point gets stretched, it gets compressed back to here. This point gets compressed back to here. And I end up with a wider graph, but it's better to think of it as a compression. It's a little tricky. Wait. So why does the the denotes the plus four? Why does it say positive? Because it's on the wrong side. Oh, so it's just it's because they moved it. They changed the sign when they moved it over there. Uh huh. So it messed it up. Normally, it's always the opposite sign for the x's and the y's, but they moved it over here so that it was be y equals. So it messed it up. That's the only reason it's positive four. Now, when we do our curves, our uh, ellipses and our hyperbolas, we always use the opposite, don't we? Yeah. Because we have to zero it out. So let's do an ellipse. Just remind everybody how this works. Let's go with x uh, minus 5 squared over 9 plus y plus 3 squared over 16 equals 1. Go ahead and graph that ellipse. In the standard form. Where's our center first? Before we before we do anything else, you need to find your center. Five, 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 negative negative three. Three. Your center is at five negative three. And a is equal to. Three, because this is a squared, and b is equal to four. Now this is actually plus or minus three. This is plus or minus four, because we're going to go both ways. But the value is four and three. Now we're going to go to five negative three, because it's going to be a relocated ellipse. Five negative three is our center. Remember, the center will not make this true. It'll just give you zero over here, because it zeroes everything out. That's not part of my graph. These black points will actually be part of the graph. I go three each way in the x direction. I go four each way.